So we have another important segment, um, something super crucial to the business, another piece of the puzzle. We're going to talk about messaging and I kind of like to just call it connecting. Um, our job is literally to offer the products in the business to everybody. Like that, that's our job. Um, and so the importance of messaging you guys is that posting isn't asking. I can't tell you how many times I've messaged somebody because they like commented or maybe liked something. Maybe it's just they liked something and I send my usual message reaching out and they'd be like, yes, I've been watching you post about this now for the last year. And I've just like, just never reached out. Like I just kept forgetting to ask or, you know, they were scared for whatever reason. And so, um, just being that person that reaches out first is just super crucial. Just people get busy, people forget, people are scared, they're nervous. Um, and so just, just taking that first step and getting people, um, in is just our job. It is our job to offer the products in the business. It's not our job to make people do it. If they say no, that's completely fine. And I think that's kind of where some of us get caught up. Um, you're going to hear no. People are going to leave you on red. But there are people who are going to say yes. And there are people who might not say yes for about a year of you talking back and forth, but they do say yes. And so just understand that our job is to just connect with people and offer the business and the products, and it's up to them whether they wanna take it or not. So posting isn't asking you guys, reaching out first is just super important, and just keeping that in the back of your mind. And also understanding that messaging is planting the seed. I would love for everybody to sign up on the spot the first time I message them, but that's not usually the case, and I want you to think about how many times did you have to talk to your enroller before you signed up, um, you know, how long did you watch them? How many times did you ignore them and then finally say yes? So you have to keep in mind that there are people who are going to do the same thing to you and that 95% of the people I sign up, I reached out to first. And there are different things we can do like polls and stuff. But at the end of the day, like even doing a poll, people are voting. They're like waiting on me to message them. So 95% of the people I sign are from just me reaching out first, whether it's a cold message, um, messaging them from a poll or whatever it may be. I am connecting with them. I am reaching out to them, sending these new messages out. Um, people with planting a seed, there are people who will open your message, leave you on read and never reply. And then a year later, message you and say, Hey, I've been watching your hair, skin, and nails journey, and I would love to know more about it. When I can, like, when their their message pops up and I open up our conversation and I see that I messaged them like a year ago offering that same exact thing and they never replied. And so after you message them, they're going to wonder what you're talking about. They're going to start paying attention to your feed. So messaging is planting a seed and posting and staying consistent is watering that seed. So give them something to watch. Give them something to get excited about. Give them something to want to respond back to with. Um, I've had people tell me, no, thank you. And then turn around two years later and say, I'm interested. Or, you know, they said, no, thank you to trying the products. And then they come to me wanting to join the business. So messaging is planting that seed. I don't get caught up in who replies and who doesn't. If they reply they want more info, great, I'll give them more info. But my job is to just make sure I'm getting these new messages out each and every day. And we're going to go through the different kinds of messages that you can send um, and just kind of setting like a daily minimum and just how to respond a little bit and like how to make your life easier because there is um, messaging anxiety. That's totally a real thing. That's something that I still get and I've been doing this for a long time. Well, long-ish, three and a half years. So we just have tips to like get you through that. And so I've been where you are and I understand, you know, if you feel like you're, you're going to bother somebody, then you're probably bothering them. If you feel like you're annoying somebody, you're, you're probably annoying them. I don't feel that way. I literally, it's just a message. They don't have to respond. They can say, no, thank you. I am not here to beg people. I'm just here to offer what I have. And if you're interested, I'll give you some information. Now, obviously there are things that we can say to kind of 
be a little bit more persuasive or just kind of change the conversation a little bit and still get something out of it. Um, but it's not in a pushy way. I do not want you to be pushy at all. That is not what we do. Um, so the first thing we're going to start with is messaging the people who like and comment on our posts or vote on our polls or respond to our, you know, stories. Um, it's super simple, you guys. If I make a post about the grant, and it's like, I love starting my morning every day with skinny coffee, and it's a picture of me with skinny coffee, okay? And, like, I had people, like, like the post. I will message them and say, Hey girl, thanks for the love on my post earlier. I really appreciate it. So just saying, hey, I, you know, I appreciate the interaction. I appreciate your support. Thank you. And then I say, were you interested in learning more about the skinny coffee? Just insert product. I have two spots left for my discount that I'm trying to fill and I wanted to offer it to you. Um, that's it. That's, that's it. Just saying I have two spots is um, creating an urgency. And the message trying to like get them to like you know oh only two spots yeah like tell me more um and just saying like would you be interested in this were you interested in learning more so i'm asking them would you be interested they're allowed to say no it's okay if they do um we're gonna get to that later but they interacted on a product post and so i send this message that says hey thanks for the love of my post i really appreciate it were you interested in learning more about blah 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 i have two spots left for my discount and i wanted to offer it to you that's all you have to say. And if they respond, great. And so you can like, most likely will be like, yeah, I would love to. Some people say, no, you know, I just, I just really love your feed and was just showing support and that's fine too. Um, and there, there are things that you can offer when they say no, and I'm going to get to that later. Um, but the same thing with people who like my life post. So if I'm, if I write a life post about like the business, uh, making money or I'm looking for spots or whatever, I always say, hey girl, I just wanna say thanks for all the love on my post, you are too kind. I'm looking for one more person to mentor and help make a couple extra hundred bucks a month from their phone and I figured I would ask you and see if you wanted more info about it, is that okay? And I'm, once again, I'm just saying, hey, would you want more info? Like, thank you for interacting on my feed. And they, they it like puts your foot in the door because they interacted with you first. But at the same time, you guys, I have had people who I have cold messaged, and we'll get to that in a second. They've never shown an interest on any of my posts for the last three and a half years. No likes, no comments on anything, maybe here and there on the kids, but never on a business post. Or they're like, just reach out to me and say, hey, I've been watching your stuff for you know the last three and a half years, and I'm totally interested in what you do. And like, my mind is like blown because they've never interacted on any of my stuff before none of the business stuff or else I would have like messaged them. So it just goes to show you that like, don't get caught up in your likes and comments because now more so now than anything, a lot of the likes and comments I get on my product and life posts are people who are already in the business and people who are on my team who are just showing support, people who are sidelined showing support. Um, but it helps like, you know, bump it up in my feed. I know people are still seeing it even if they're not interacting, which is another part of just like posting and staying consistent and just watering that seed, watering that idea in their brain, keeping it in the forefront of their brain. If I'm constantly popping up on their news feed every day. Um, but you know, you do, it's, it's more comfortable um, reaching out to people who like and come and interact on those posts, you know, same with the polls. You know, thanks for voting on my poll. You chose, you know, weight loss and weight loss. You could do like a poll about, you know, do you want to lose weight or are you more focused on toning? You know, whichever one they vote on, just be like, you voted on, you know, my weight loss option. Um, I would love to give you some recommendations and then just kind of just go from there. So they they put, you know, the first interaction out and allows you to kind of respond back and just reach out and um, get your foot in that door. So it's really simple. We have messages, you guys, um, to use. It's not complicated, okay? Um, but that's something you should be doing if you are getting comfortable with posting. Make sure that you're going through and you're, you know, you don't have to re message them right away as soon as somebody, you don't have to like stop your phone and be like, oh, Sarah liked my, my, 
getting coffee post. I need to message her right now. I'm like, you don't like, just wait till you get a minute to sit down, message everybody who liked and commented on that and then move about your day. Um, I usually like to message for the people who liked my stuff the previous day, just so it like gives, I'm not looking desperate and I'm just giving that post, you know, it's time to hit everybody before I start interacting with more. So you're going to hear the word cold message and it's kind of just your, it's just an icebreaker. And basically what it means when I say it is everybody's got a different meaning. But for me, it's just reaching out to people who haven't shown an interest first. They've not shown an interest. Now, some of these people I have liked and commented on their stuff. I have interacted with their feed. So I'm not just throwing a message at them. It's just that I'm messaging people and reaching out first. And there are different ways that you can do it, okay? So I don't message people people right after I add them. I don't recommend that because I know that if somebody were to do that to me that they just want a sale. Um, I kind of wait like a month and there's no way that I keep track of it. I just, when I go and I'm messaging people, I like scroll down a good ways to where I know those people have been there longer than a month or at least that. Um, and that's just a personal opinion. I know people who message people right away and some of them have success and you probably have to send a certain kind of message. Um, I'm just not comfortable with that. I like to give people the chance to become interested themselves first by looking at my feed and just having the chance to reach out, or at least I know that they've been watching for a month and that they might have an idea of something that they are interested in by the time I do reach them. Um, I do a lot of genuine interacting, um, before I message them. So I will like and comment on their pictures. I will ask them questions like, Oh my gosh, I love your boots. Where did you get them? Or even just like send them that post that I'm talking about and send it in a private message. So our first conversation in a message is like me asking them like where they got their shoes and then just leaving it at that. And then just, you know, making sure that the time I'm spending on my phone that I'm scrolling, I'm doing it to interact with people and like and comment on their stuff. And it's really simple to do you guys, but just being genuine. Um, they're seeing that you're interacting with them. You're kind of warming them up a little bit and then you send the message. So you can send, you know, there's an original cold message. Um, I have a subscription box cold message that I send. It just, there's different things that you can do. And a lot of the quick, easy ones before sending just like, hey, would you be interested in this is, hey, quick question. Send that to, hey, girl, quick question. And they'll be like, yeah, what's up? And then you can send your cold message of like, you know, the subscription box or whatever it is that you send or whatever your upline sends. Um, or you can say, hey, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Quick question. Or, hey, it's Caitlin. Um, I have this thing. And send your cold message. Um, Another thing you can say is, you know, send your cold message and be like, do you know of anyone who might be interested in this? And you're not directly targeting them. You're saying, do you know of anybody? And they might be like, oh, like I am like, hey, like I'm expanding in your area with my business and I'm looking to help um, a couple people make some extra money from their phones. Do you know of anybody who might be interested in doing this? And they might be like, well, like, hi. Like, I would be interested. Can I get more info? And they might be more willing to say that if they don't feel like, Hey, would you want more info? Just be like, do you know of anybody who could use some extra money? Um, I'm expanding in your area and just kind of doing like, like a referral message that way. So there's different like little beginnings that you can do and you can switch it up. Um, I, you know, have the same base cold message once that icebreaker comes in and they respond to it and they're like, yeah, what's up girl? Um, and I said, them, like, yeah, like, sure, send me more info. So it's just kind of like an icebreaker. And I do have that genuine interaction. You want to make sure that you're doing it. I'm not bombarding them right when I add them. I just, it's just how I want to run my business and, and hold myself as a person. I just, I know, I don't think I would appreciate that. And I've had people do that before. And I'm like, dude, I literally just accepted your friend request and you've already shoved this down my throat. No, thank you. Like, I, I want to represent, I want to be that person that, is respectful, is not pushy. I don't seem desperate. Yes, I would love to sign a hundred customers, but I don't want to be the person that's pushy or comes off desperate. I'm here to help people. I'm here to just offer what I have and go from there. So, um, so those are the different types of like cold messages and icebreakers you can send messaging the people who, you know, interact with you first, your likers and commenters, you know, your voters, people who interact in your stories. Um, I send new messages every day. This isn't like 
okay, I sent 20 messages out and I've been having this conversation with these five people who responded to those 20 messages. It's a numbers game, you guys. Okay, not everybody's going to respond, but they're like, okay, like nobody's signing up and you're just following up with the same five people like every couple days or every week and you're like, just nobody's interested. I'm like, well, how many new messages have you sent out? They'll be like, well, none. I'm just, I'm like trying to work on these people. You never stop sending new messages. You should always be adding and growing your market um, so you never run out of people to message, number one. And number two, getting those new messages out every day, you don't know who's interested. You do not know who is interested. And so I'm not sitting around waiting on these other people to be ready. They'll be ready when they're ready. I don't get to decide that. I just know that I did my job and I offered it and then they're going to sign when they're ready and there are things you can do to follow up and stuff. But I don't get caught up in the people who aren't ready to sign right now. I go message new people until I find people who are ready to sign up now or who are going to sign up sooner rather than later. Um, you know, be careful with sending too many of the same message too fast in one sitting. You know, when I started, I could just sit down at night after my kid went to bed. Kids, I had two at the time. Um, I still have two, but anyways. Um, they would go to bed and I would send a hundred messages in one sitting. It would take me 20 minutes and I would spend the, the rest of the next day throughout the day responding back and forth to people. And then once they go to bed, I'd sit down and I'd send a hundred new messages and then it would just continue. I'd spend my day replying to the messages I sent the night before. Um, but now on Instagram and Facebook, you can get put in jail or like blocked from using the messaging feature. So if you do too many of the same message too fast, so if you get a message from somebody, try to change it up a little bit because we're all trying to do this. We're all trying to message and we could get each, each other in trouble because, um, the social media platforms, they're going to think that we are spam bots, that we're spamming people. Um, if it's just like the same message to every single person, you're doing it too fast or too many in one sitting. So like split it up and do, um, you know, 20 messages three times a day, that's 60 messages. Or if you're trying to hit 100, do 25 messages four times a day. And so I'm going to go over like tips on helping you split that up and getting over the messaging anxiety because sometimes we just don't feel like we have enough time to sit down and do that. But I'm going to save your life. Um, we're going to talk about text replacement if you don't know what that is yet. So, oh gosh, um, I have notes, prepared notes, you guys, so I can stay on task here. So what you're going to do is you're going to set these daily minimums for yourselves and you can do the 20 messages three times a day or the 25, four times a day. That's a hundred new messages a day. It's not in one sitting. So you're not going to get in trouble. Um, there are different ways that you can start your messages. Like, you know, the, Hey girl, quick question. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Quick question. You know, Hey, it's Caitlin. Here's your message. Um, do you know of anyone? So there are just different ways that you can send these messages out. Set your daily minimums. <coughs> so, <sighs> Text replacement has saved my life in terms of just time saving for this business. Um, I would have messaging anxiety because I used to think that I, I felt like I had to respond to people right away as soon as they messaged me back. And so I didn't want to like sit down, message a hundred people and then like, feel like I, okay, like I was, I'm just stuck here for the rest of my life, um, trying to respond back to everybody. So it was like, oh, that's too stressful. So I'm not even going to send messages out. Like I've been through that. Like I've been through the whole, even though like, I know, I know that I sign way more people when I'm cold messaging than just sitting back and waiting for people to reach out to me. On average, I get like four people who come to me a month and I could sign like 20 customers by just messaging and four still come to me and so you know quadruple your results by reaching out first and i have seen the difference between doing it and not doing it and so there's just this overwhelming anxiety i have about you know just feeling like i didn't have enough time to respond to people um dealing with rejection is still something that had um it, it used to bother me and i have rewired in my brain to hear no means not right now because I've seen it time and time again now in my business that people have told me no thank you and then a year later come to me wanting to sign up and I'm just like you already told me no and so 
I just know no means not right now. And my job is to just message and plant that seed regardless of what they say. My posting and my consistency and my interacting is going to water that seed and they're going to be ready when they're ready. And so I'm going to be here, you know, when that seed is ready to break through the soil and, and grow and bloom. Okay. Like I'm going to be here for that. So we don't, you know, plant a fruit tree like my lemon tree. We just planted it and it's a baby and I didn't expect it to bear fruit the next day. Like I know it might be a year. So we have to take care of it. We have to water it, give it sunshine, be consistent in the care of it. And it's going to bloom when it's ready, as long as we do our job on our end. And so it's the same thing with this business, same analogy, but I want to talk about text replacement, you guys. And this just helped my anxiety so much about messaging was that if you go into your iPhone and you click settings, general, keyboard, and text replacement, you can hit the plus button at the top and you're going to see a spot that says phrase and shortcut. And so I had this message, this real good message all typed out um, to send to people. And yeah, you could like copy and paste, I guess, once you get it typed up. And that's what we used to do. I used to save it in OneNote. OneNote I still use. I just, it's like a big storage um, notebook for me. But for when I'm messaging people, the most common messages I send or ways that I read, like it's how... I explain the business. I explain it the same way every time. And so why not create a shortcut? So for a cold message as the shortcut, I'll write cold MSG, no spaces. You want to make sure that your shortcut is a word that you don't normally like type on a regular basis. I used to do cold. And then this was during the winter when I set it up. And so I would like text my mom and be like, yeah, it's cold here today. And when I would type cold and hit the space bar, it automatically replaced in my big old paragraph from my cold message that I was trying to send people. It's like, crap, it needs to be something that you don't normally text. So I don't put any spaces. And I would do cold MSG. MSG is short for message. And I would insert like the paragraph, the message that I wanted to send. And so when I'm messaging people and just going down the line, I just type cold MSG in spacebar and it inserts that paragraph and I hit send. And so I just do that and I can do cold MSGG, cold MSGGG, which are like my three like different, um, like, hey, quick question. Hey, hope you're having a great day. Quick question. Hope I'm not bothering you. Um, it's just like small alternates of like the same icebreaker message basically. And I just added an extra G on the end. So I have three different options. doesn't really matter which one I choose. I just, I'm not trying to send the same message um, too fast in one sitting. And so I, I alternate it and that's how I, I switched it up um, for my subscription box. It's sub. So like short for subscription, sub cold. So subscription box, cold message. Um, you can do whatever system works for you, but I would send those messages out. You know, I mean, you can even copy and paste that message. That's not a big deal. And when you're sending these messages out, you guys, and your goal is okay, 20 messages, three times a day. Don't stop to reply to those people until you get all of your 20 messages out first. Then you can focus on replying to those people, but like make sure because you're going to get caught up and you're going to get busy and you're not going to get as many out. So those people will always be there. Don't feel like you have to immediately reply back. That's part of the messaging anxiety that like kept me from messaging for a while. So um, text replacement, not only do I use it for my cold messages, but I do it for my responses. And so when, whenever they pick a product that they're interested in or we figure out like, you know, this is what I recommend, I have the product descriptions that I normally recommend or, or sell the most of in text replacement. And so HSN is HSND and D stands for description. So FFD is fat fighters. Thermophy X is Thermophy XD without spaces. And so wraps D. So when I'm explaining, I just type wraps D and it inserts my uh, product description paragraph. And so you guys, this is in our training page. Um, I put the scripts and uh, categorize them by how they are on our website. You know, under nutrition is that greens and um, what everyday essentials or whatever, whatever it is. I split up the script. So we have a product description for every product that we sell right now. 
in our, in our training page. Um, I don't have every single one saved in my text replacement. I could easily do that, but for the ones that I don't sell a lot of, I just didn't add it in there. And um, I could easily grab it for the training page if I need it, um, if there's a product that I don't have saved in my phone. So like when I'm replying to people, and I'm, I'm saying the same thing over the way I explain the, net, the loyal customer agreement or the way I explain what the subscription box is, it's the same exact explanation. So why would I spend time typing it out or like looking through my notes and copying and paste it when I can just be like sub cold or sub box is um, how I explain the subscription box. 90 day with no space is how I explain the little customer agreement. And it's just saved so much time. So I didn't always remember when I first set it up, like what I saved my shortcut as. And I have to go back and look real quick. So over time of just like doing that, I, I would start remembering what it was that um, I use this shortcut message. And so please use text replacement. And that's for iPhone. I don't think Android has it, but there are apps you can get to be like a text replacement. I know there was one we found for a while there, the text replacement wasn't working and it was God awful. I had gotten so used to doing it, especially like explaining how it, like we do this business, um, I just type it real quick. What short, and it's like what we do, what short, and it was my short explanation. So what short together um, was how I explained the business and it like stopped working. So I'd have to open one note, copy it, then paste it in and just go back and forth. And it was, it was dreadful. So there is an app though out there. I don't know what it's called, but just go into your app store Sorry, it is one o'clock for me. Um, go into the app store and type text replacement app or just do some like research and find something that might work. But it's just really simple and it allows me to, and I can just try to show you real quick if I want to send. Um, so this is Erica is my neighbor. Let me bring it up just a little bit more. And maybe she wants um, information on our wraps. Okay. I type wraps, then I hit D, and it pop, it'll highlight it because it's a shortcut that I have. And it'll say, you know, is this what you do? You hit the space. And when you look, it inserts everything. All I typed was wraps D, and it says wraps are cloth infused with botanical lotion that works to tighten and tone your skin in as little as 45 minutes, anywhere from the neck down, a full treatment is for wraps. Or just like even like my subscription box cold message, sub cold, I told you guys is what it was. Um, it'll highlight it. And it's that message right there. And so I know how the conversations go. I lead the conversations. I know what people are going to say. After the initial information is exchanged, exchanged and then I can go in and just like answer their questions that they have. Um, a script isn't bad. It's just like I explain what we do the same way. And so it's just something that I have saved to make sure that I'm staying consistent with how I explain things that I'm not missing or forgetting anything. Um, so scripts are not bad. I do add things to be a little bit more personal before or after. Um, but it's like, if she must know what the wraps are, you know, I might write something up, answer another question she has do the text replacement for what the wraps are and what they do, and then add something else. But I have a lot of the, the responses and the messages I send saved in my text replacement to help me with time. So when I do have five minutes to send 20 messages, it's real quick. And then as I'm replying to people, I can reply to them. Um, so with my messaging anxiety, the things that helped were text replacement because I now it was just such a huge time saver. And then just understanding that I didn't have to immediately reply back to people. They are still going to be there. So like relax and just get to it when you can. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, voice messaging is also really great. You can do it. I'm, I'm sorry if you're yawning. <laughs> You do it on Facebook and Instagram now. 
Facebook, you can forward voice messages. So if you like recorded a cold message, like if I could like read my cold messages and like say it in a voice message, um, you know, people can hear me yelling at my kids. People can hear my excitement. They can hear my sincerity. They can hear that I'm a normal person. Um, so as long as it doesn't sound too robotic when you record it, like you can send it to yourself on Facebook. And once you record a message that you like, you can just forward that to a certain amount of people. Instagram, you cannot forward right now. So any message that you send on Instagram that has to be recorded, if you want to send a voice message, you have to individually do it over and over again. So that's not a time saver. So what I like to do is I like to send my cold message or my icebreaker through text replacement. And then when they reply, then that's when I just start voice messaging. Um, over time, you're going to get comfortable with how to explain things. Um, you know, knowing the product description off the top of your head, knowing the pricing off the top of your head. And so it, it's going to take you a while. I don't expect you to study your website. I don't expect you to study these scripts. It's just over time, you're going to start getting a handle on this. And voice messaging is going to be so comfortable for you. It's going to be so much easier for you. So I'll just be walking around cleaning the house, throwing laundry in, and I'm just like talking to people and answering their questions. And like, like, hey, you know, don't feel obligated to voice message me back. This is just easier for me right now. I'm doing laundry. Um, and they, that's just like something personal. They hear that I'm a normal person. So voice messaging is huge. You can do it on Instagram now. Um, and then... I want to let you know that, you know, if you send these messages out and the people say, yes, they want for more information, then send them more information, you know, use your text replacement, you know, go into your team page and find these product descriptions and, and scripts and stuff. Like we have a basic loyal customer conversation walkthrough or normal messaging with like talking about being a 90 day challenge, a client. We have one for doing a subscription box route. And there's just so many different ways that you can go about it, but we have basic walkthroughs, you guys. So if they say yes, give them the more information. Um, if they say no, that's okay too. So if they say no, thank you, there are different things you can do. You can turn them into a connector. And so, you know, you can have them do a host a post, which is, you know, saying, hey, like, it, I'm going to read the message that I sent. But basically, they're going to, you know, they're not interested in buying or joining the business, but they're willing to help you out and put a post up on their wall and tag you in it to see if any of their friends might be interested. So what I like to say is, no worries, I completely understand. Quick favor then, if you don't mind, would it be okay if I sent you a post to put on your newsfeed or story and tag me in it? I know you're not interested right now, but someone on your friends list might be. I can send you a link to get exclusive access to our app that contains free workouts and recipes with a chance to win coins in exchange for, for product um, as a thank you. Would that be okay? And so, yeah, they're not interested in the products or the business right now, um, but they, they would love to get a free app with workout and recipes and a chance to win free products um, with those coins. And they're going to make that post. And maybe they have like 20 people jump on it and like want to order right now. And you can be like, Hey, listen, you only, you have so much interest right now in this. Like, why don't you do this with me and make some extra money? You can earn a hundred dollars shopping spree. You can earn these bonuses and stuff. Um, I mean, you have incredible interest right off the bat. So you can do that too, but they might not be interested, but you just found, because one person said no, you found 20 people who said yes. And like you get directly connected with them and they like interacted and they said yes already that they're interested. So you just give them the information and they tagged you in it. And you're reaching people that you're not even friends with on your social media. So they're connecting you to other people in just a bigger market. And people who sign up as a loyal customer, you can ask them to do a host post too. Um, there's a separate training that I'm going to do on host to post and the messages you can send and just kind of how that can go. But this is an option when they say no, I just say no thing or no worries. I completely understand. Um, another thing you can say is that like, no worries. I completely understand. Have a fantastic day. Leave it at that. And then a couple days later, re-message them and say, hey, so I know we talked about the boxes and you weren't interested quite yet. So I wanted to thank you for your time and offer you access to our exclusive app with free workouts and recipes. You have a chance to win free coins in exchange 
for product. Is it okay if I send the link? And so just saying, hey, like, thanks for your time. I have this app, it's free. You can win some free products. And they'll be like, yeah, sure. So you send them the link, they download the LiveFit app, and which that's the app I'm talking about. They're gonna start getting, you know, information on, you know, product updates, workouts, recipe, or maybe not product updates with that. I can't remember, it just recently changed, but you know, workouts and recipes, and they're gonna be able to like browse your store and they're directly connected to you. So you have a referral link in the LiveFit app. If you swipe up on the main page where your picture is, it says like send invite, you just send them that. And you're just thanking them for their time, giving them an exclusive app that's free. They can get free workouts and recipes. So there are different things that you can do. You don't just say no, they don't say no, you say, okay, thank you. And then like cower. There are different things that you can say. So when in doubt, screenshot it and ask for help. It is literally our job to help you guys learn how to be successful, learn how to have these conversations with people, making sure that you're giving the right information to people. And so let me tell you this and just leave you with this advice. When you do ask for help and you send a screenshot, do not expect us to just give it to you and be like, here, we want to help you become self-sufficient. So I want you to send a screenshot and I want you to say, hey, this is what this girl said. This is how I think I want to respond. Is this good? So give it a shot because you're going to start building confidence. You're going to start realizing you do know what you're talking about. Um, and I can be like, yeah, girl, that sounds, that sounds great. Or I can help you tweak it a little bit and tell you why I tweaked it. Um, because I've just, I've been doing this, you know, for a while, trial and error in, in how to have these conversations. I used to word vomit on people. Um, it, it was seriously God awful. My cold messages were like a mile long and I threw up all over them. So I like learned, I've been there, done that, learned from my mistakes and I'm here to teach you <laughs> how to steer clear of that. And so just kind of take what I said. So you guys, you must message people. It doesn't take a lot of time. Text replacement's going to save your life. Messaging plants to see, don't expect people to sign up right away. It takes an average of nine to 12 follow-ups before somebody actually goes through with signing up. And I'm going to have a separate training on follow-ups and just different things you can say to like re-spark re that conversation that kind of fell off. Um, or people who just like said they were gonna sign up, you send them the info and then it's just like crickets. It's like, <laughs> Now you said you're ready and you like never hear from them again. So there's separate training on that that is happening. And, um, you know, sending new cold, new messages every day, just connecting with people, just, just talk to people if they're interested, give them the info and, um, you know, understand that like, I've been where you are. I've felt what you have felt and I'm telling you, I would not be telling you to message and reach out first if people weren't having success with it. I've seen what it's like to do both. And you get way more results. And what's nice, you guys, is the way that I do it, I turn it into like helping them with their goals and making sure they get paired up with the right products to achieve their goals. And so it's not about a sale for me. And I make them know that. It's, it's about them and helping them. And so you're going to feel so much better about messaging when you have clients who message you and they're like, I just got my first rep results. Like, this is insane. And they're going to like messaging you, be messaging you and just thanking you so much for like helping them like with their, with their, you know, stubborn mom belly or just that, you know, maybe they hit a plateau in their weight loss and you got them on the greens and it just like, you know, started their, you know, weight loss and got them off that plateau. And so you just, you're going to start getting messages of people thanking you for connecting them to these products and reaching out first. Okay. It's, it, it's, it's so incredible. It's the most incredible feeling in the world is that everything that you're doing, you're doing to help other people and in return, it is helping you. Um, but it, that's going to help you get over that. But you guys have to stick through it. You have to, you have to do what we're telling you to do in order to start getting these results, in order to start experiencing these different things for yourself, experiencing the no, and a year later having that same person turn around and say yes. Um, so if, if I send out a cold message and they don't reply, I do not message them again. They are clearly not interested. 
Um, if I see something pop up in my newsfeed that they've posted, I will still interact on that and just be genuine and interact with them and letting them know I'm normal, that I'm not a sales bot. Um, they might start to warm up to the idea, but these people are going to start watching your stuff. They're just a little seed and we just have to start tending to that seed and just doing everything that we're supposed to doing, be doing on our end and the rest will follow through and just control what you can control. I can control how many messages I'm sending out. I cannot control who replies to it or when they sign up. I can control responding to them and giving them the information they need. I can't control what they're gonna say back or if they reply back. So focus on what you can control. Make daily, um, set daily minimums for yourself. I, I recommend like 20 messages three times a day minimum. Um, I like to try to do 25, four times a day and I get more out some days. I, I go back and forth between Facebook and Instagram. Um, Instagram's your bigger market at the end of the day. But remember guys, if you are sending this many messages out, make sure that you're adding just as many people, if not more, um, because you will eventually run out of people to message and we don't want that to happen. Um, so I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you have questions, message me, message your upline. Um, and let's, let's just start connecting with people. That was so corny. I'm sorry.